soldiers. Once upon a time three soldiers returned from the wars. One was a sergeant, one was a corporal, and the third was a simple private. One night they were caught in a forest and made a fire up to sleep by, and the sergeant had to do sentry go. While he was walking up and down an old woman, bent double, came up to him and said, Please, sir, may I warm myself by your fire? Why, certainly, mother, you are welcome to all the warmth you can get. So the old woman sat by the fire for a time, and when she had got thoroughly warmed she said to the sergeant, Thank you, soldier, here is something for your trouble. And she handed him a purse, which seemed to have nothing in it. Oh, thank you, marm, said the sergeant, but I wouldn't deprive you of it, especially as there is nothing in it. That may be so now, said the old woman, but take it in your hand and turn it upside down. And while you hold it like that gold pieces will come pouring out of it. He took it, and, sure enough, whenever he held it up out came the gold pieces. So he thanked her very much, and off she went. Next night the corporal had to play sentry, and the old woman came up to him and asked to sit by the side of the fire. Certainly, marm, said he, and welcome you are. I have known what it is to shiver in my bones. So the old woman sat by the fire for a time, and when she was leaving gave the corporal a tablecloth, said he. Thank you, Marm, kindly, but we soldiers rarely use tablecloths when we are eating our victuals. Yes, but this gives you victuals to eat, said the old woman, whenever you put this over a table or on the ground and call out be covered. The finest dinner you could eat at once comes upon it, if that is so, said the corporal, I'll take it and thank you kindly, and with that the old woman departed, and the corporal woke up his comrades and called out tablecloth be covered, and, sure enough, the finest dinner you can imagine appeared upon the cloth. Next night the private marched up and down doing sentry go, when the old woman appeared again and asked to sit by the fire. Surely, said the private, you're as welcome as my own mother would be, and after she had sat some time by the fire she got up and said, thank you kindly, sir, I hope this will pay you for your trouble, and she gave them a whistle. And what's this for? said the private. I can't play on the whistle, but you can blow it, said she. And whenever you blow it out will come a regiment of armed men that will do whatever you tell them. And with that the old woman departed, and they never saw her more. So the three soldiers traveled on till they came to a city where there was a princess, who was so proud of her card playing that she had agreed to marry anyone who could beat her at cards. Now the sergeant was also very proud of his card playing, and he thought he would try his luck with the princess. So when he went up to the palace he offered to play a game with her, but she said to him, What are your stakes? If I lose I have to marry you, but if you lose what do you lose? So the sergeant said, I'll stake my purse. Why, what's a purse with nothing in it? Said the princess. There may be nothing in it now, said the sergeant, but see here? And he turned the purse upside down and put his hand under it, and it kept on dropping gold pieces into his hand as long as he held it upside down. 